I've been writing songs since I was nine years old and uh, just really enamored with music. Just so grateful for this, for the fact that I could sing. And um, I, I used to write songs to, to entertain people, to take them away from their daily lives. And as I got older, I, um, I felt it, it becoming more important to me to communicate to people. And to be able to do that through music is the ultimate thing in the world because music to me is magic and communicating to me is is probably the most important thing in my life so to be able to do that at the same time and then be on stage and have a physical release at the same time and connect with people that is um that is more gratifying than anything i could ever think of Thank you. 
conversation. I love the truth. I love fear. I love red wine. I love nature. on drums. And Jesse Tobias on guitar. And you are? How's it been being my guitar teacher out here? Great. Don't, don't mention the fact that lately I haven't been doing any lessons with you. Well, yeah, this is a, a oh, bit wait. of a spanking in order there. <laughs> no, um... Uh, promise is promise. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Alanis Morissette in concert will return on CBC. It's heartening to see that a lot of people are interested in listening to music that just isn't about heartbreak, that just isn't about a love relationship gone right or gone wrong. Um, it's heartening to know that more people are open to being introspective and to hearing music that is going to require more of them than just to listen. Yeah. 
kitty, kitty. Come here, kitty. Come here, kitty. Come here, kitty, kitty. Alanis Morissette in concert will return on... Whenever I think of You Ought to Know, I always feel sorry for how misunderstood that song has been. Um, and I guess indirectly or directly how misunderstood I was in, in the writing of that song. I wrote You Ought to Know to release how I felt at the time. I was in a very pathetically sad, vulnerable state. And um, I released it. And... Uh, it wasn't written for the sake of revenge. I never mentioned who it was inspired by. It was not written for the sake of, of, of conveying a message of man-hating. I love men. I, um, I've had ne negative experiences with men, as I think anyone has, and a lot of men have had negative experiences with women, and I, I had to write about how I felt at the time. I was in a position where I had put my self-esteem in, in a man's hands and let him do with it as he would, and inevitably when you do that, you wind up getting really hurt. And that song, when I sing it, I don't think of the rage, I think of the sadness. And I know that anger is, in my estimation, um, a cowardly extension of sadness for me. It's a lot easier to be angry at someone than it is to, to tell them that you're sad about something.
Sometimes I struggle with the whole concept of yin and yang and, and um, finding peace within that. <laughs> I just enjoy someone who doesn't take themselves all that seriously. Um, the whole concept of things happening for a reason sometimes eludes me. <laughs> um, so, when I wrote that song, it was just a chance for me to step into the humorous side and check it out. So this next song... This next song is a song called Ironic. Two and a one, two, three. Well, life is a funny way. 
Alanis Morissette in concert will return on CBC. This is a song called You Learn and I dedicate it to you. to eventually anyway. You 
Alanis Morissette in Concert will return on CBC. I went to your house. into your room where I could smell you and I should be here without permission I shouldn't be here would you forgive me love if I didn't see your shower would you forgive me Would you forgive me, love, if I stay all afternoon? I took off my clothes, put on your robe, and I went through your door till I found your home. And down to the net, I found your CDs. Your journey and I should have stayed long. You might be home soon. I should have stayed long. long. Would you be giving me love if I didn't see me in your shower? Would you be giving me love if I lay in your bed? Would you be giving me if I stay all afternoon, I burned your incense. I ran a bath. I noticed a letter sat on your desk. It said, Hello, love. I love you so, love. Me, me. everybody. This is the most peaceful I've ever been in my whole life. With what this last year and a half has given me, you'd think that it, I wouldn't be peaceful right now, but I think it's forced me to go either to a peaceful place or a crazy place and feel very open. I feel like the future is, is limitless. I guess I've always felt that, but I feel it more now than ever. I feel like I've just scratched the surface and that I've, and, and that all of this has just begun. All of this ex exploration has just begun. Sunday. My ill health has been greatly exaggerated. Not your little temper, I see. When Cousin Jesse comes to visit, buried feelings are mined like ore. Think it's gold? Wind at my back, Sunday at 7 on CBC. From the East Coast, a family torn apart by hardship. Not gonna let them take her house. You shouldn't be down there. Held together by their hopes and dreams. You'll be the best pit pony anyone ever heard of. Pit Pony, Sunday at 8. Six. How dare you? Any simple concepts like orders? And you eat their questions for dessert? Is it just me or is it hot in here? Your life, a night 